So it's time to um, move on with the with the project here. It's time to get Node.js up and running. So now you know Mongo, at least the basics of Mongo and how to use it. Now we want to build our JavaScript engine. So now we want to install Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome V8 engine. And what does that mean? Well, it means that you can start executing JavaScript directly uh, on your machine. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's uh, download the version 5.3.0, which is the newest stable version. And um, when it's downloaded, we'll just do the installation, which is very, fairly simple. Um, so I click next, I want to install it, I accept the terms, just put it in the default folder, it's just easier this way. Then I know where you have your Node.js environment. Keep all the default settings here. If you want to play around with this, you can load where you want to put your NPM path and stuff like that. Uh, or remove putting that into your path, but we want that so we can use it in our console. Let's uh, do next and then do install. Yeah, I want to install it. So, the goal here is, first step is for us to figure out if we can actually run Node when it's installed in a second. So we're going to try and write some JavaScript directly inside a terminal or a console on the Windows machine. So let's go down here to our search and write Node.js. And let's write it the correct way here. So it says Node.js in the command prompt. Let's just use that. That just makes it simple. So now your environment has been set up for using Node.js. Great. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we can write Node. And now we're actually in a Node terminal. So now we can actually start writing like console.log. Um, hello world. Right? So now we can start actually writing directly JavaScript directly inside this code. Now, we need to get into what JavaScript is all about, but we'll figure that out as we move along. So let's try to make a file instead of executing it in here. I'll just exit by pressing Control C two times. Let's make our first JavaScript file and see if we can execute that. I've created a folder under my C drive and called it JS Web Apps. I'll right click. Actually, I won't do that. I'll go in here and I'll find my notepad. Notepad, there we go. This will be my first JavaScript file. And well, what do we want to do? Let's say um, console.log. I'll just write JavaScript right in here. Hello, everyone. There we go, simple as that. I'll save it. And I want it to be placed under my JavaScript web apps folder here. I want it to be called, let's just call it server.js because this will be my server file, my entry point for the Node.js. I'll save it. And here I have my beautiful server.js file. Let's find that folder <clears throat> right here. So I'll go into CD, JS web apps. And in here I'll write node because I want to use the node uh, utilities and I'll write server not JS I don't need to do that I can do that but I don't have to and it says hello everyone so actually there is node is working on my machine now that's good news so let's try and add on this let's try and make something a bit more complex I wanted to print out this instead of what it did before so I'll do a for loop and I'll say variable I we'll get into this code later what it's all about and we'll say that starts at a zero then we'll say i is less than 10 and then we'll say i plus plus so this is pretty much just a what we call a for loop that runs over um and does a lock now 10 times in a row so we'll say counting and we'll say plus the i what is this? Let me just try and explain this if you don't know the, the JavaScript yet. Um, I'm making a for loop. I'm saying I want to run over this 10 times. So I starts to be zero and then I go down here and I do something. In this case, I, I print out the I, which is zero first. Then I go back to the loop and I count I up one. So now I is one and that is still less than zero. So we'll do it again. Count it up to two, less than zero. Yes, do it again, do it again, do it again. When i is 10, it's not less than zero anymore and we'll continue out of the loop. So I'll save this and I'll run it. 
node server and you'll see here I get the hello everyone and then I get counting from 0 to 9 just as I expected so now node.js is running next step will be to add some more funky code than just this very basic setup see you soon